I got some happy mail. I got some happy mail. I got some happy mail. Hello everyone, Marlene aka Snow Gardener 307 here starting our video out with some happy mail. And then we are going to jump into our sinking funds check-in. So let's go ahead and get going. All right, so I've got two packages here. The first one is in purple, and then we've got one in flower. The purple one I'm so, so excited for. I'm excited for both of them. This, let's start with the flower one. I'm super excited for this one as well. I'm leaving it upside down. This came from Brianna over at Brianna Life and Budgets. So I asked her to create a shirt for my husband's birthday. Hopefully my husband does not watch this video. I don't think he will. His birthday is on Monday. We didn't have a lot of time for the turnaround on this and I don't know what this looks like. So I'm so excited. So let's go ahead and open this up. You guys know that I love supporting other small businesses, whether they be YouTube or Etsy or anything like that. So let's take a look and see. Oh, let me see if I can open this package. Sometimes the packages are the hardest things to open, don't you guys think? Oh, and I see some other fun stuff in there. So let's take a look. Look at how cute. Cash stuffing mama, cash stuffing queen, and a little cup of coffee, it looks like. Super, super cute on those. So this is for my hubby. His birthday is on Labor Day, actually. So let's take a look. Can you guys read that? I hope so. So... It says, it's not easy being my wife's arm candy. I'm so excited. This turned out amazing. She did it in black for me. I grabbed it in a 2XL for my hubby because he is so tall that a lot of times the stuff won't work. I love this font. It looks absolutely amazing. Yay. So hopefully my hubby didn't see that. So I just saw that shirt and I thought that that would be so much fun. And I'm sorry, I just hit my camera. So thank you, Brianna. And let's take a look here. It's handwritten notes. So amazing. So I had asked her if we could do gray. If not, we did black. And so she's thanking me here. And of course, she says if I'm not satisfied that she'll give me a refund, that shirt is absolutely amazing. So, so excited. Thank you, Brianna. I am going to put Brianna's Etsy shop down below as well as her YouTube channel. Then let's move on to this package here. Some of you guys may have seen me open one of these purple packages and it had this in it, right? So we're going to set that right there. This is from my friend Brandy over at It's a Miracle Budgeting and Lifestyle. I know what's in this one because I ordered this one. So uh, let's open this up. I've been waiting for this package and I've been waiting to open it. I got it a couple days ago and you guys look at this. I didn't even open it. Aren't you guys impressed? I waited. I waited. I waited. So let's see if I remember what I ordered because sometimes you just never know. All right, let's get this stuff out of here. Ooh. And Brandy, she put on my receipt, she put a little note. Ooh, we're getting all of our stuff on out of here. Ooh, we just keep going and going and going. We're going to open this first. I know what it is. And if you guys didn't see the last video that I did, I'm going to ooh and ah about her tissue paper again and her stickers. Just absolutely amazing. The attention to detail, just wonderful. So we're going to open this up here. And it's a good thing I have my scissors. And I am going to be using this in my video tomorrow. Yay! So uh, this is my acrylic cash tray. I didn't want the one that laid out flat because I don't have much room. So I wanted this one. And I think I've got some cash. You guys should see the table I'm filming on. It's absolutely a disaster. So uh, let me grab some cash here. And uh, let's 
stuff some cash so that we can see what it looks like. So we can put our dollar dollar bills in there. So exciting. Look at all these. We're just going to throw some cash in there. Look at all of these different sets. Can you guys see that? Absolutely amazing. So going to be using that in cash stuffing. Hopefully that's going to work out okay. I think so, you guys. Don't you think? Don't you think that's going to be great? So she does have this one, and she also has the flat cash tray. And so go check out that. Then let's open this first. Let's see. It's like Christmas, you guys. Just like Christmas. Let's take a look. All right. Look at you guys. I'm moving on up in the world. So we've got $500 and we've got thousand ones. So I am going to start using some placeholders. Let's set, scooch these on back. We're going to put our placeholders in there. I got thousand and five hundred and these are really nice. They're super thick um, and five hundred and thousand ones. So super excited. Oh, there's more in here. Why is there more in here? Did I order? I wonder if Brandy gave me, oh, these are different. So let's take a look. I think these might be, I don't know if they're laminated or what, but you can see these two different styles. I'm going to have to ask Brandy. And if she lets me know what the difference of these are, I will go ahead and put it in the video. There we go. And, oh, yeah, and I had to get this because how cute is this? You guys know I love me some purple. And everybody else has a jeweled pen, so I want a jeweled pen. Let me go ahead and write on this receipt right here. Oh, yeah, it writes nice. It looks pretty. I might start putting that there. Whew. Okay, one last thing. Now, you guys are going to laugh because this is the binder I picked for myself. <laughs> so now your girl has got purple and blue and oh, it's so pretty. It still has nothing in it, you guys. Look, it's still empty. We're gonna fix that very, very soon. And then open this one up. And I don't remember what envelopes are in this one. Oh yeah, I went with the purple in this. Look at how nice. So there's one for me. There's one for my kids. Oh, there's my gardening one. Clothing, clothing, personal care, and travel, and Sam's Club. So I wanted this one to have a label on it. And she wasn't sure what I wanted. So she sent me two different ones to put on myself with some transfer paper. Yeah, your girl's going to have to YouTube how to do this because I have no idea. But this one right here, this envelope or this envelope. Oh my gosh. This binder is my spending fun binder is what this is. And oh my gosh, this is, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's black and it's sparkly. And of course, you know, your girl's going to use both of these. I don't know how I want to do it. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe spending fun. I've got to use both of them. What am I going to do? Put one on the back, one on the front. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments what you guys would do with these labels. So exciting. We now have two binders that are so pretty and sparkly. We should have another binder or three or 10 on the way soon, but we are going to be using these because I have two now. I just can't wait anymore. Let's go ahead and move this stuff on out of here. And we have got a mess going on. So let me clean things up and I'll be right back. All right, everybody, I am back. We have got our August sinking funds check-in. This is our month end check-in. And so I'm gonna go ahead and write two dates up here. We did a mid-month check-in on 8 17 21 and the reason why i need this is because these balances that i have right here are from the end of this check-in so i need to make sure of that and then today is 8 31 21 and so that's going to be our month end 
And I'm going to make a little note right here that this is before M check. All right. So what that means is today is my payday, but I have not stuffed any sinking funds or anything yet. So I want to make sure of that. We have had some major money movement in our sinking funds just in the past two weeks. So we're going to go ahead and get this done. Now, as I go through and do this, I've decided since I have this beautiful cash tray here and these two beautiful binders that we are going to get them switched over. So our first section, yes, we're going to see how long this takes. I hope it doesn't take too long because you guys know I'm long winded, but we're going to jump right into this. So we're going to go ahead and start with gifts for me. This is what I was holding my sinking funds in. This is my husband's sinking funds for right now until he gets a binder. And I'm going to be transitioning some of my sinking funds out of here into here, counting them and doing bill exchange all at once. So hopefully your girl can keep track of what she needs to do. So let's go ahead and talk about birthdays. We have definitely had money movement out of birthdays. So let me explain what's going on in my, in my gifts. I keep saying birthdays. I used to call it birthdays in my gifts. I have four subcategories. I have general gifts for anybody we want to give a gift for, whether it's birthdays, wedding, you know, first day of school. I don't know any gift that you want to give. So we've got general gifts. Then I have my husband, my daughter, and my son. So let me show you the, there's two slips that are going to make it really, really easy. We have got my husband's and we have got my daughter's. So my husband, he is at a negative 11 right now because I took this $200 back in July and bought him his present back then. So yes, he got a shirt too, but that's okay. And my daughter, she just bought her new car. She has tags and taxes that are due. And that was close to $1,600. She was freaking out a little bit. So I told her that I had $200 that I was going to spend on her birthday for her. If she wanted it early, she could have it. So she went ahead and took advantage of that. So I have minus 200. I took the $173 obviously and transferred it into her account. But that shows me that I have a negative 27. So those two are negatives. But this movement right here was after the 17th. Let's take a look at the other two. The other two did not have any money movement after the 17th. So our general gifts has $181 in it. And let's double check and make sure 150 70, 80, and one. And then my son's should have $84 in it. 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, one, two, three, and four. We are going to go ahead and get rid of this 10 and these two fives. And we are going to grab a 20. I don't know how many 20s I have in there. doesn't look like a ton. We'll see what we can do. We've got some 50s. You know what we're going to do instead? We are going to take these three 20s. We're going to take that 10 back, but we're going to do this instead. Then we'll have some more 20s. So let's make sure that I haven't messed up. We should have $84. And if we look without counting it, we do. So Peyton has 84. I've got to grab Mr. Cassio. Almost forgot him. He's buried over here on the table. So we have $84. Plus we have our general gifts, which has $181 in it. And that's it. So we have $265, but we have to account for this. We took 200 out. So if we take 200 out and then we have negatives on both of these cards. Now I forget how I did this last time. And I know this gave me a hard time. Oh, looks like we're good. So I subtracted 27. I subtracted 11. And we take the 200 out. We didn't add anything. That gives us $227. And that is right on the money. We are going to be moving this into the binder. And your girl is new at this. So please give me a break for these. This is the first time I've ever used these. Super exciting. We're going to go ahead and take all of these. We're going to put these into our gifts. Ooh, are my tracking sheets too long? I don't know. Let's see if they are. I think they might be. You know what we're going to do? We're going to fix this and I'll be right back. 
Okay, everybody. So I was transitioning over to these anyway. So I have just transitioned those into note cards and then we are going to get this set here. So uh, let's go ahead and get these put in here. And now I know that those trackers don't fit in here, but look at how nice that is. <gasps> Amazing. Okay, gifts. We've got gifts done. Now, back to school is in, doesn't have a binder yet. So we're just going to count this up. We're going to see what we've got. So on the 20th, I took out $100 and used it for uh, my daughter for a few things for her dorm and also for my son for his school supplies. So we didn't add anything in. We took $100 out. So we should have $115. Let's make sure. We're going to go ahead and change that to a 100 as well. So uh, let's grab a 100 and we've got 50 70, 90, 100, so 115. I'm loving this cash tray. Just so you guys know, this cash tray, there are enough slots for ones, fives, tens, twenties, fifties, one hundreds, and the back slot, I have my placeholders in there. I also know that some people stuff $2 bills, so if you do $2 bills, there would be enough room in there. So next we have car, and car does not have a binder yet either so let's take a look so for car I have added $30 I did this yesterday and I did not take anything out so we should have $272 let's take a look we've got 100 200 20 40 50 60 65 70 71 and 72 let's go ahead and what should we do here? We're going to grab a 50. Yeah, 20. So we're going to do this. 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. We'll grab a 50. We'll take these bills and put them over here. $272. I need to get this amped up some more, but I haven't done it yet. One day at a time. Now Christmas and clothing are the next two. And I know that these are in here because they are part of the fun. So here's clothing and let's take a look and see if we've done anything with clothing. Nope. Clothing has had nothing go in, nothing go out. And there is $5 in there. So $5. Let's get this put in the binder. I need to scooch that up a little bit. I got to figure this filming out now that I've got binders. I'm so excited, you guys. And, you know, for those of you guys that maybe are new to the budgeting world and you're looking at everybody with their fancy binders and stuff, I want you guys to know that I started budgeting in April of 2020 and it is now almost September of 2021. So I waited for quite some time before I decided to go for this. Now we have got Christmas, which I believe is in the blue one. Yes, it is. So Christmas, there's our Christmas envelope. We should have $1,150, no money in, no money out, $1,150. Let's double check. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,150. Obviously, no bill changes in that one. And let's go ahead and get to Christmas. I just had it and then I lost it. There's Christmas. Get this put in here. So pretty. Oh my gosh, you guys. I feel so fortunate. If you didn't watch my video on this blue binder, I do want you guys to know that Brandy gave me this binder to show you guys. And so far, I am just absolutely loving it. And then our next category is emergency safe. This does not have a binder. This is my emergency safe. So we've got one, two, three, four, and five there for me. Then let me show you guys my hubbies. His has been transitioned. This is another great thing if you're on a budget. These right here work absolutely amazing. So let's make sure he's got 500 in his. One, two, three, four, and five. So hubby has 500 in there as well for his. So we didn't have any money in or any money out. I don't know. What is your guys' thoughts? So I have online emergency savings for both myself and for my husband. Do you think I should use placeholders for the money that's already in the bank? 
I'm new to the placeholder thing, so I'm not sure I'm 100% clear on how it works. So uh, let me know. Then furniture, nothing in, nothing out. I need to start putting money into this. And I'm wondering if I don't need to make this just part of the home category because I don't think I have an envelope for it. And furniture, do I want an envelope just for furniture? I don't know. So $150 in there. And for furniture, I'm super excited for that because this girl is gonna get some new patio furniture next year because it just needs to happen. Then garden. Let's talk about garden. Garden has $8 in it. We're gonna need to do a new note card. So let me speed you through this. And of course, these are from the dollar store, you guys. So super cheap. And we had no money in or out of garden. And let's get put this put into the binder. Now we're going back to the purple binder. I guess what I need to do once I get all my binders set is have these set for each color of binder and in order. So that will make my life much, much easier. Let's go ahead and put this in here. And you guys, garden. You know, story time. It's freezing here already if you haven't watched my other videos. It's crazy here in Wyoming. So garden, and then we've got holiday. And holidays is right here in the front. Look at how new this is. I haven't even gotten rid of the paper inside of it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see what I'm doing? I sure hope so. Let me grab holidays out of here. And we are gonna need a new card for it, but let's double check and make sure that we've got $200. 200, 200, so no ins or outs, $200. And I've still got 100 over there, and this is a great one to go ahead and get this $100 switched out for. And that is my last 100, so we won't be doing any more of that. And let me write a card really quick. There we go, $200. Let's get this put in our binder oh my gosh it's like i want to call it my handy dandy binder right like you know handy dandy notebook for anybody that knows what i'm talking about put it down in the comments below home maintenance let's see what we've got we have got 314 dollars let's see if that's right because i could have swore i put 50 dollars in let's see what we've got here 100 200 250 270 290, 310, 11, 12, 13, and 14. All right. And disregard. I thought we had $50 left over in home and I moved it to here, but I did not. Let's go ahead and at least get, yeah, we're going to get these 20 switched out for a 10 and a 50. I'm going to have to look and see what I did with that leftover money. Maybe I put it into our I think I put it towards our debt. The $50 was supposed to go here and maybe I did that wrong. I'm gonna have to go back and look and see what I've done, but $314 for now for home maintenance. And then, oh, let's make sure we're keeping up on this. Just so you guys know, if you are a new subscriber, this is one of my printables that you can get. Super easy, I love it. Um, this is the August print right here. September has a different print. And uh, let's look at kids. Kids, kids, kids. And we've got two things inside of the kids envelope. What I want to do is I have a punch that I haven't been able to use for quite some time because I stopped using other envelopes. And this is my hockey savings challenge for my son. I don't want to punch the money, right? So let's take a look. Let's put this in here. And is that straight? It looks straight. Uh-oh, heaven help me. I don't know if I'm doing this right. I don't know. Which way is it supposed to go? Oh, oh, let me look at the rings here. Three and three. Three and three. I would think as long as I have it centered, we'd be okay. Or is it supposed to go up there? Well, if I mess it up, it's my printable. I can print a new one. Let's punch that. Let's hope it works. Let's go ahead and put our $100 in here. So there's $100 in the hockey savings challenge. And there is 120. Okay, that's right. I actually owe my son allowance. So let's go ahead and take that out right now. Allowance. Take that $10 off. We're going to make that 110. And we're going to put that off to the side. So uh, let's take a look. So yep, 220 
and we are not going to put anything in. We're going to go ahead and take 10 out because we just did that. So that's going to drop us down to 210. Now, let's see about the hockey savings, savings challenge. Let's go ahead and put kids in here. And it says kids right now. The only one that has money in here is Peyton. And that's because Julia's money is going digital. She does not live with me and she's at college. So that's why. And let's take a look. Oh, yeah. Oh, ooh, look at that. Oh, maybe. Oh, ooh, yeah. Ouch. That hurt. <laughs> okay. So now we have got that one there. It's kind of tight. I think it's going to work okay. So we've got that. Now land tax, I know I don't have a binder for that yet because land tax is boring. Do you notice that I started with all what I consider the fun things? So uh, let's take a look. Land tax, we need a new card for this one, but we're not gonna do it today. So land tax had $16 go in and nothing come out. So we should have $342. Let's double check this, 100, 200, 300, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, and 42. And we're going to go ahead and get rid of these little bills here. Not the hundreds. Trying to take those hundreds. So we are going to grab two 20s. Get rid of those 10s and those 5s. And I hope this video isn't too long for you guys. You guys know me. I'm just so long-winded. So let's make sure we've got 342. We sure do. Land taxes is going to go back in here for now. So we have got my taxes and this is for Etsy and for YouTube. I am monetized on YouTube. I haven't gotten any money yet, but we're going to get there. PC is my pressure cooker. So this is just going to go into my envelope because, you know, I'm going to always have different goals, right? And maybe that's where furniture should go to because it's kind of something for me for spending. So we have got $6 there. And then we did add $11 into our taxes, didn't take anything out. So for the two of those, we've got $47, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 41, plus five and one equals 47. Obviously we're getting rid of all of this stuff here. Let's go ahead and get some bigger bills. So we're going to grab two twenties. There we go. So 41 and six there. So I'm going to go ahead and put pressure cooker into my binder. And we are going to redo our sinking funds check-in when we do our September mid-month check-in. So I will just put this under my name. And if I've got any special little projects or any saving things that I'm doing that are specifically for me, they're going to go into mine. Look at how pretty that purple is. And isn't that font fun? Just love it. Love it, love it. So I do not have for taxes, I don't have anything yet for that. So we're going to go ahead and put that in here. And now we have Snow Gardener 307. We added $20 in and we did not take anything out. So we should have 110. I know I don't have any hundreds left, but we do have enough to change out the 20s. So let's go ahead and grab a 50. And let's grab a 10. There we go. So 60 and 60. So 110 for Snow Gardener. I do not have my Snow Gardener envelope yet, but I will. I will. Don't worry. I will. Now let's jump into personal care. Personal care, as you can see right here, says 240. That says 240. No money in or out. So let's double check and make sure we've got 240. We sure do. And we have a personal care envelope. I'm having to look. I'm, I'm going to fast forward through a lot of this stuff. So if you guys see things happening that aren't making sense, that is why. So personal care, going into this binder right here, personal care. I think I'm going to want to start putting those on the back so you can see the cash. Look at that. Personal care. Check. Next is pets. And I know they do not have an envelope. And so we did have, we ordered another thing at Chewy, these little Yorkies. And these cats are eating us out of house and home here. We have taken another 105 out for Chewy. So we didn't add anything in. We took 105 out, which gave us 703. Now, here's what we're going to do, everybody. Let's take a look. Obviously, we're going to be doing some bill changing. But this is what we're going to do. We are going to take $500 out 
and leave 203. So one, two, one, two, three. Let's make sure I've got 500 here. One, two, three, 350, four, four, seven, 420, 440, 460, 480, 490, 95, 500. We're going to set that off to the side and we are going to grab a $500 placeholder. First time using a placeholder, we're going to go ahead and put that $500 into a 360 Capital One account for sinking funds. We are making some big moves here today. And I like to forget stuff. I don't know about you guys, but we are going to go ahead and put 500 and I'm just going to put sinking fund pets, Capital One 360 just so that I know what that money is for, because I really like to forget stuff, especially with dealing with all of this money. And then we are going to go ahead and make a note right here. We're going to put an asterisk and we are going to put 500 place. Why did I put PC? Because it's PC to do that. Place holder. Is that what they're called? Placeholders? That's what I'm calling them. So we've got 500, 600, 700, 703 for pets. Yay! Now, Sam's. Let's see what Sam's is sitting at. So Sam's has got $30 in it. Yep. And we did not add anything or take anything away. So still $30. And Sam's Club does have an envelope right back here. So let's go ahead and get Sam's Club put where it needs to go. I'm going to have to figure out how to film again, you guys, with having these binders. Oh, yeah. Let's put that. Let's put that on the back so we can see the money. Sam's Club. Perfect. Then we've got Saveopoly. And Saveopoly also has an envelope. Envelope? Envelope. What do you guys think? Sometimes I think I say envelope and sometimes I say envelope. I think it just depends on my mood. So we've got Saveopoly right here. So let's grab our Saveopoly out of here and let's see what we've done. So Saveopoly on 830, we added $55 in. We do not have anything coming out. So we have $413. It looks like this needs to be downsize, does it not? But let's check it first. 100, 200, 300, 350, 370, 380, 390, 95, 400, 405, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. My husband had some janky $1 bills and they part of them are in this. So we're going to take care of this. So we've got one, two, three. Obviously we're going to keep those. We are going to trade out. Let's try to get the best $1 bills we've got here. So we've got those three and we need a 10. Okay, so let's make sure this is $100 right here. 50, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. So let's go ahead and actually looks like I don't have a hundred. Oh, I do have a hundred. We're gonna take that hundred. We're gonna put these two fifties in that stack. So 400, and I'm so happy to get rid of these ones. Oh my gosh, I love it. So my bank tellers, I talk to them all the time. I bring them coffee, you know what I mean? They are just amazing. And I love it. I sit there and I'll talk with them if they're not busy and don't have customers. And they'll be sitting there with their flat iron, ironing out all of the money. And I'm like, oh yes. That's why most of the time the money I get from the bank looks absolutely amazing. So we have got $413 in Saveopoly. Let's get it added into our binder. And if you didn't watch my last video, make sure you check it out. I talk about Saveopoly and I talk about what we're going to be using the Saveopoly money for. So Saveopoly is good to go. Well, let's talk about subscriptions. So subscriptions, I have Friendly and I have Hulu. So between the two of them, I'm supposed to have 106. And if you look here, I've got 50 in one and 56 in the other. So let's make sure. And we're going to change this out for a 50 because why the heck not? We've got a 50. Get that there. Do, do, do. And those there. So $50 in Hulu. Check. Then Friendly should have 56. We're, of course, going to be changing this out too. 20, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, and 56. So let's keep a $1 bill. 
and let's keep a five. Get these put in here. I love in this cash tray. Thank you, Brandy, for my happy mail. And Brianna, too. That shirt, I absolutely love it. I think my husband's going to crack it up crack up about that. So $56. So we've got 106 there. Amazing. We do not have a subscriptions envelope yet. So let's go ahead and put these back in here. And then we've got travel. Let's see travel. We added another $50 to it. Didn't take anything out. So we've got 1700. Let me tell you what I'm going to do. Uh, this is going into the bank. Not all of it because we're going to want to have some cash with us when we go to California. But $1,000 of it is going to go into our high yield sinking account. Same one that this 500 is going into. So let me go ahead and make a note right here. 1000 for vacay or travel, whatever you want to call it. So uh, let's take a look. Let's make sure first we've got 1700 One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, one thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, six fifty, and seven hundred. So seventeen hundred. And we are going to be keeping seven hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We are going to take this thousand. We are going to grab one of our placeholders right here and add that into our travel. And I'm going to make myself a note here because how much do you want to bet the first time I go to count these that I'm going to forget they have placeholders in there. So 1,000 placeholder. Amazing. So we've got our 1,000. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yay. So we've got travel. I know it's in here. There it is. There's our travel can't believe I almost forgot to do that. And I was just reminded about my giving as well. <laughs> Look at how nice that looks. Look at those. Oh my gosh. So we've got Sam's Club in this one. We've got travel. We've got personal care. We've got clothing. We've got garden. We've got my son's savings challenge envelope. And I might, seems a little tight. I might hole punch it again. Just make them a little bit bigger. Then I've got kids. And I've got my money. So this binder is done. Then we've got this binder. And giving is in this binder. So we've got holidays. Oh, you know what? I got to, I've got to move them to the back. Okay. We've got holidays. And here's our giving. We do not count our giving. We just put it in there. And let's see. I am going to go ahead and change out a couple of these bills, though. There we go. So let's get back to that giving. Amazing. Put that in here. All right. So I think the only thing that's going to be empty in this is savings challenges. And I had her make me a catch-all envelope for savings challenges because I didn't know what I was going to be doing or how I was going to be doing it. So we've got holidays. We've got giving. We've got gifts. Sorry, guys. I got to. I got to. Oh, this one. We got to change them all around. So if we want those to be like that, we got to change around how they are. There we go. I just like seeing the money way too much. I don't know about you guys, but I'm very visual. I love the money. Love seeing it. I think that's why a lot of us like the clear envelopes. For my cash divider, I've got clear as well. Did you guys hear me that time? I said envelopes. Envelopes, envelopes. Savings challenge. Saving challenges. And then we've got Saveopoly. Amazing. So these two binders are now stuffed and have money inside of them. Yay. Now let's talk about hubby. Like I said, for right now, he's living in this one. We already counted his emergency save and his next one is gifts. Let's see how much he has. So it says he has 290. He added in $25 on his last paycheck. So he should have 315. Let's double check here and see what he's got. He's got 150, 200, 250, 270, 290, 310, 315. And these bills are looking pretty rough. So we're going to go ahead and change out the ones that are looking the worst. Let's see what we've got here. We've got some nice looking 50s in here. We're going to change those out first of all. Then this is a good 50 and that's a good 10. Oh, there we go. Oh, 
let's make sure 100, 200, 300, 15. Uh, let's do another 100. I don't know why I didn't think about that. Oh, that one's all crinkly. We don't want a crinkly one. Ooh, that's a really crisp one. Crispy like bacon, as my friend from Chris Budget says. Crispy like bacon. $315 for his gifts. And then oh, let's talk about garbage. That made me think of, is it boys to men? Let's talk about you and me. I don't know. Sometimes the things that pop in our head, right? We didn't take anything out, so we should have 50 bucks in here. We are definitely changing this out for a 50 because if there's exactly 50, we're getting rid of all of this nonsense. Let's check it out. 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. We're changing that out. We're going to grab a crisp $50 bill put in there for garbage. That is one of my least favorite stuffings ever is garbage. I just don't like paying for garbage. It's just no fun. All right. Holidays. Let's talk about holidays. So holidays, he put in $50 and then he borrowed $600 out of his holiday fund to pay for his motorcycle. Oh my gosh. I put lines after these ones. Why didn't you guys tell me they all have to be the same. My hubby will be paying this back. He would have already if I would have gotten the cash out and I didn't, but I got the cash out now or I'm going to with my paycheck. So $100 is what's left for holidays. And he knew that he was going to be having a large check. So that is why he went ahead and borrowed out of there. We usually don't do that, but this was kind of a unique situation. So subscription should have a total of 217. There is only one that is going to be having money added to it. And that is Amazon for Amazon Prime. So there was $5 added for that. So that would make us $222. Let's count these first, and then we'll do some bill exchanges. So 87, and let's make sure there's 87, 50, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, and 87. Uh, there is 87 in there. Then we should have 65. And let's make sure 20, 40, 60, and five. Then for Disney Plus, we should have 70, let's add in 70, 50, and 20 equals 70 for 222. So uh, let's take a look. Some of these bills that we have in here are pretty ratty. I don't know about you guys, but I like nice, fresh bills. So we're going we're gonna to switch that 20 out. So Disney Plus is good to go. We are definitely grabbing a 50 for this. We're going to grab a 50 and a 10. And we'll keep that five. So we have got 65. And then Amazon, that 50 is pretty good, even though it's written on. That 20 is okay. Let's go ahead and grab a 10. Those fives there. And grab a 10. I just love doing bill exchanges. I don't know about you guys. I love doing them. I love watching them. So subscriptions, $222. All right, then we have truck. First of all, this has been renamed because if you watch my videos, you know the truck no longer exists. So we have come up with the category, the envelope category that it's going to be. And, you know, everybody's like, are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Is Vroom Vroom because he doesn't have a truck anymore. He bought himself a motorcycle, but he has two other trucks. Plus he has snow machines. Plus he has... Heaven knows what else. So this is just going to be a catch-all for all of those. Let's take a look at what happened in this account right here. And a quick shout out to everybody that let me know that my mistake was in the truck category last time. I appreciate it. I had made a mistake and a lot of you guys caught it. So thank you so much. So he did add $25 in, but then he took out $1,000. So that means in Vroom Vroom, I said Zoom Zoom, we're going to do Vroom Vroom instead. We should have $35 and that we do. Let's add all this up. Let's get all of this cash. Look at all this cash. I feel like I need to put it all in order though, right? Because you can't have cash out of order. I tell you what, I can't remember whose video it was I was watching and they don't care about the bills being in the right direction, right? My OCD was going out of control. It was unbelievable. I was like, oh my gosh, the bills are all messed up. And I mean, really, what does it matter? I think I got that. I think I told you guys this before from, you know, back when I was a teenager and I worked cash registers. The people that trained me on the cash registers said that the bills all have to go in the same direction and all of that. So let's take a look. Hey, that's not too bad. That's a pretty good size of cash, right? Stack of cash. Let me go ahead and add these up. 
we're gonna do this and fast forward because you guys know I struggle with my calculator. by a hundred dollars again. I did this the last time too. What a oh, what did I do this time? So my calculator came up with 8,064. The sheet says 8,164. Let me find this and I'll be back. Disregard. I'm back. I never left. So remember when I said the last time you guys found my mistake for me? I tried to carry that mistake forward even after thanking you guys for correcting me. So what happened was right here, this was a mistake. 1,110 should have been 1,010. And so I brought forward the wrong total. So that is 9,776. And so this will give us $8,064. Whew. I'm glad I realized that without spending a ton of time there. So we had a lot of expenditures. I told you guys we had some serious money movements. We still have over $8,000. This money is meant to be spent, right? We save this money up for purposes. So my husband, for his truck, he was going to buy new tires for his truck. He decided not to do it because he knew he was going to be selling the truck. He then decided he wanted to take that thousand dollars that he had saved and put it towards a motorcycle. He spent this 600. This 600 is coming back immediately within a day or so. And of course, for gifts, for back to school, you know, that stuff is meant to be spent. But I love when everybody counts how much cash they have left. I've never tried it before. Now this was money. The money that I started out with was money that was going to be going into the bank. So I don't know how much money was there. I don't know how much money is here, but let's count it and see because counting money is fun. We've got 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 850, 900, 950, 1,000. We're going to do it in 1,000 increments. I don't know how much there is, but it's too hard for me. 51, 52, 250. Oh my goodness, why can't there be another 50? 270, 290, 310, 330, 350, 370, 390, 410, 430, 450, 470, 490, 510, 530, 550, 570, 590, 610, 630, 650, 670, 690, 710. Whew, this is tough, you guys. 730, 750, <laughs> 770, 790, 800. Man, that always gets me. 810, 820, 830, 840, 980, 85, 90, 95, 1,000, right? You guys let me know if I messed up down below, huh? You guys were the ones watching. <laughs> All right, so 2,000, and let's take a look here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81. Amazing. So don't forget the reason why I have so much cash, just in case you forgot already, is we added $1,500 in placeholders. So $1,500 of this is going to go into a high yield savings account instead of sitting in my binder or in my accordion folder, I guess you would say. All right, everybody. I believe that's it for this video. Holy cow. I think it's going to be a long one. I want to remind you guys to remember to keep on smiling. Bye everybody. Mm -hmm.